Oh man, that was quite a feast. But we're not done yet, because we have the gallery to go through. Hello everyone, my name is Jasirium, and welcome to the bonus episode of Let's Play Five Nights with Fatties. In the last episode, we got through banquet mode, and all I gotta say is, never again! That night was hell, but is it worth it if we unlocked the gallery? To that, I say... Yes. Alright, so... This is the gallery. Which you can unlock by beating all of the custom knights. That's right, you have to beat all three knights in custom mode to get the gallery. Alright, so first up, we have Milkamine. There's her walking down the hallway. There's the up-close shot. Now, don't ask, it's not a JoJo reference. Though it does kind of look like it. There's her leaning in the chemistry lab. I think. And there's her sprite animation. There's the door. Hello! There's the jump scare. And here's the ending. Gotta say, the animations on these endings, they're, well, just the animations on this ending, it's extremely well done. Alright, now on to the sounds. Alright, next. Let me show you my little secret. Oh, you're making my magic tingle. How about a dinner date? <laughs> How about a little snack? Alright, I think that's the majority of the movement lines. Now, let's have a listen at the reset lines. Clover better not have told you! Oh, she didn't tell me anything. Well, actually, she may have. But you never know! Fuck you! Fuck you too! Oh, so that's... Oh, she says I'll. I thought she was referring to someone else. Okay, let's see. Bon appetit, fat fuck. Well, you know how I said that you'll be eating those words after I got through banquet mode? Well, all I gotta say is bon appetit, bitch. Mmm, spicy. Starstruck, or did all that fat get to your head? Starstruck, or did all that fat get to your head? Okay, that's just a different variation of that one. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Piece of shit. We don't get you. Oh, so you say. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's kind of... to tell them where they're moving. Ugh, come on. Oh yeah, because she has the 
those little boots, which kind of look like combat boots or whatever. How much do you want to bet that all those footsteps were made? Because one of the developers just went into a room with a wooden floor or what have you and just took a pair of shoes and did the, all that stomping noises with them. Alright, so... There's Pink Fury, a.k.a. that ghost thing that follows Milkamine around. There's the image of her passing by, there's the sprite animation, there's no door animation. That's the jump scare. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Pink Fury can't kill you with this jump scare. Only Milkamine can. And that's the ending. Same thing. Same thing. Pink Fury can't kill you. Only Milkamine can. Let's see. There's no movement lines. Oh yeah, that's the clicking noise. Oh, that's basically it. Okay, there's no extra lines. Hmm. What the fuck? Okay, that is terrifying. Alright, next up, we have Suki. Alright, that's her looking at Paranoia. There's her looking in a specific room. I don't remember which room it is, though. There's her walking along in the hallway. There's the sprite animation. There's the door animation, and... That kind of looks a little bit creepy. I mean, don't get me wrong. The face looks a little bit goofy, but yeah, just seeing that in a dark hallway, that's kind of creepy. Also, is it just me, or does this facial animation almost look like the cat girl from Blaze Blue? You know the one, Tao Kaka. That's it. It looks like... It looks exactly like this. Or actually, just the whole Snaggle Fang thing kind of reminds me of Rip Van Winkle from Helsing. Know what I mean? Especially with those glasses. Alright, there's that. There's the jump scare. Hello! You know, it's hard to tell, but doesn't it kind of look like the glasses are flying off of her when she does that? Right, there's that. There's the ending animation. And we've kind of seen this a couple times already, given the number of times I died to Suki on and off screen. All right, let's see. Are soon. Yeah, we've heard. I hope you've been studying. Time for your lesson. Yeah, now, I kind of agree with Axis Gaming. I kind of didn't expect her to have that type of voice. Then again, she is a teacher after all. Okay, those are the only lines. Quiz. Up. So is that? 
Wait, that laugh was her? I didn't hear that. Let's see, what else is there? Wait, that was her whistling? I didn't hear any frickin' whistling during my whole playthrough of all this. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely think one of the developers took a pair of shoes and just stomped them around on the floor. Alright, so that's that. There's paranoia, and dare I say, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Of course, like Dr. Blackjack, her creator says, paranoia, well, I don't know if they actually say this, but I like to think this, well, considering that the nature of some of the stories they write, that paranoia isn't just a singular character, but a manifestation of multiple characters with a common theme. They're followed around by some... by some dark entity, and just misfortune and gluttony follow them everywhere they go. Alright, so there's her. There's her sitting in the chair. There's the sprite animation. There's no door animation. That's the jump scare, and that is the most terrifying I've ever seen. I'll be seeing that in my nightmares tonight. Or, if I ever have any nightmares. So yeah, that's the jump scare, that's the ending, and like I said before, just, this absolutely looks terrifying. Like the jump scare, I will be seeing that in my nightmares, assuming if I have any. Let's see. There's no movement, no reset. Okay, that is frightening. Okay, that is unsettling. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? There's Crystal, there's her standing in one particular room, there's her starting animation. Well, that's not her starting animation, there's... That's not her starting animation, that's her starting animation. And unfortunately, there's no sprite in the minigames, so yeah. There's the door animation. Just the way she peeks her head around the corner. Hello! That's the jump scare, and yeah, I agree with Axis Gaming. That is the most terrifying thing. Just imagine you're walking out late at night. You see her peeking around the alleyway one moment, just looking all innocent, like with that smile on her face, and then this happens! Just the whole expression on her face, like, GET OVER HERE! Yeah, that is absolutely terrifying. There's the ending. Still don't get what the hell she's feeding us. Bird seeds? More rooms? Neat, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Whoa! You made it through! For well, now. <laughs> uh, thanks? <laughs> Again. Really? Yeah, that's terrifying. Oopsie. Guess you jinxed it. Uh, you jinxed it. Welcome back. Well, time to try again, right? Right. 
Come with Chris. How about now? I'm quick at the look, you know. Yep. I understand. Am I not the only one who thinks that she sounds Australian? No offense to any Australians out in this world. Or her voice, actress. Just, just, the way she says right where I expect you to be, it sounded like a little, that she has a bit of an Australian sort of thing to her dialect. All right, that's it. Yeah, I I think I remember her being the one with the most lines. Cuz these lines are kind of extra long. Hey, yeah. I am Chris. How's life? What a bizarre place we are, bro. Want to join me? It'll be fun. Uh, kind of a great day. Um Okay, did you get all that? Because that was quite a long one, and just the way she talked fast. So, if you got most of it, fine, but if you didn't, I'm going to play it one more time. Hey, Emma, I am Chris. How's life? What a bizarre place we are, bro. Want to join me? It'll be fun. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm kind of hungry after all that. So, yeah. My response is, Nice to meet you, Chris. Life's going well. Yes, this whole situation's bizarre. And I'm not really in the mood to join you, but thank you for offering. But yeah, I agree. I kinda, I'm kind of hungry after all that. Yeah, you think with that you thought she was Sandy, but nope. Yeah, upon first hearing, you'd think that was Sandy, but no, it's not. <sighs> Me too. Yeah, I think that's it. There's walk number one. There's the second walk. Third walk. That... Her... Just... Her walks are kind of silent. The vent movement, not so much. Because those are loud. Alright, so... That's all of Crystal... Next up, oh yeah, her, just her. That is absolutely terrifying. Did you miss me? N uh, no, 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 no. Oh. There's her with the rats in the alleyway. There's her standing up close, though most of the time we only see her top half, just this particular area here, along with her face and the rats on her shoulders. Yeah, honestly, I don't... Yeah, honestly, despite this game being called... Five Nights with Fatties. I don't see how Sandy fits into... Oh, never mind. I can see a little bit of a bulge right there where her sweater is. Never mind. So there's that. There's the... Sprite animation. There's the door animation, and that is absolutely terrifying. I'll be seeing that... ...and... 
this one in my nightmares tonight or any other night. There's the jump scare. Now, if it wasn't for her jumping at us and just this general look of just this expressionlessness despite the look the creepy looking smile well that and the fact that she's kind of batshit insane with the whole disassociative identity disorder sort of thing that she has in no lunch break yeah if it wasn't for all that if it wasn't for all that and just her going through some shitty experiences in life, I'd definitely find her a little bit relatable. Well, minus the disassociative identity disorder and just the whole holding someone captive and force feeding them until their stomach gets to the point of nearly exploding. Okay, next, there's, there's the ending, and yeah, like Paranoia's, this is one of, one of the endings that most people who have played this game are kind of terrified of, because, yeah. I mean, I've heard of, I mean, I've heard of just in medieval times for punishment, people would place rats in a cage and then light the cage with fire or something to have the rats scurry about in someone's stomach. But never have I heard someone forcing them down someone's throat. Well, that is until Sandy, of course. Right, let's get out of here and go to just her lines. Oh yeah, it's the whole three blind mice thing. And a duet in three, two, one. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a thing in your life as three blind mice? Yeah, with the reset lines, she kind of sounds a little bit defeated. The first one was kind of cheery and a bit eerie. Three blind mice. And now she's just whistling it. Okay. Let's just listen to all this. Because why not? Okay, yes, we get it. She's the one with the rat fetish. Well, the rodent fetish, so we know. Oh, 
Okay, that is terrifying. Imagine hearing that down a dark alleyway, and you see her moving around all erratically. That'd basically scare the shit right out of you. That too. That as well. And those are the rats scurrying about. Oh yeah, that's the run from wherever she is to the door. So, yeah, that's the thing. So, in an earlier build, supposedly the footsteps were a little bit quiet, and in the patch notes, yes, this game is downloaded with the patch notes. In the patch notes, the developers made her footsteps a little louder so people can hear where she's coming from. So, yeah, that kind of helps a little, unless everyone else is making noise. So, yeah, I think we've had enough of Sandy for now. Goodbye! And, yes, this is Elina. So, there's her in the infirmary, there's her just peeking around the corner. Imagine that down a dark alleyway. That'd be pretty terrifying. There's her moving about, there's her sprite animation, there's no door animation. That's the jump scare. That's what happens when the ghost hands get you. That's essentially what happens. I mean, I tried showing all this off in some previous recording sessions, but they just kept not doing so well, and I was getting visibly frustrated in some of them, so yeah, those are pretty much gone, but but this image will live rent-free here. Also, the ending. So, yeah, this is what happens when Elina catches you. Essentially, she turns us into a furry. Alright, so... Halloween's already over. Alright, so those are all the lines. A poor decision. Let's try this again, shall we? Let's not. My love. Shall we? Yeah, kind of. Boo. Boo. Also, what the hell? Robin? Who the hell's Robin? Oh, must have been, like, a sort of different character. And this was supposed to be Alina, but one of the developers, possibly the one who provided Alina for this game, kind of made a mistype or something and accidentally put Robin in. Oops. Well, someone sounds excited. There you are. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Um. I guess that's it. All right, so. There's no movement or anything, no audio for our character. These are the sprite animations. Like, these are the animations you see in the intro. There's her sprite animation 
well, her typical sprite animation through the mini games. And this is what happens when she encounters some of the characters. There's no door animation, considering we're behind the desk most of the time. There's no jump scares. There's no endings, save for the death animations that happen when the characters catch us. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. That's everything that this game has to offer. I mean... If I wanted to, I could play through the mini-games again, but I'm not going to. Because I think we've seen enough of everything in this game that it has to offer. So, before we end this off... This was fun. And credit where credit is due to everyone featured here, as well as the voice actors. And I think that's going to do it for this game. And like I said in the previous episode, I look forward to the sequel. So, my name has been Jasirium. This has been Let's Play Five Nights with Fatties. Thank you all for watching. And in my next Let's Play, whether it's the sequel or whatever new game I decide to do a Let's Play of, I will see you all next time. Until then, ciao. For now, though... For now, though, all I gotta say is... How's life? What a bizarre situation we've been through. Care to say goodbye? You know, after all this, I'm kinda hungry. Okay, that's enough. Goodbye. See you in the next one.